Welcome back to Times Lead Info. We all know that in a landmark deal which would boost the defense ties between the United States and India, General Electric Aerospace signed a memorandum of understanding with HAL on June 22nd for producing fighter jet engines. This deal between GE Aerospace and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited to produce the fighter jet engines in the country, initially for the Tejas Mark II fighter, will involve 80% transfer of technology from United States to India. As per the different sources, the transfer of technology will cover all vital areas, many of which were entirely off-limits when GE and India's Aeronautical Development Agency began talks on the possible production of these engines. The complex engine technologies that will be transferred to India includes machining and coating for the single crystal turbine blades, fabrication of powder metallurgy discs, inertia friction welding for fan and afterburner, laser drilling technology for combustor, special coatings for corrosion and erosion. In addition to this, machining and coating of the ceramic matrix composites for the nozzle guide, vanes, flaps and other parts, machining of thin-walled titanium casing, polymer matrix composites for bypass duct, and bottle boring of shafts. So by when India can roll out the first indigenously developed general electric engine? As per the different sources, it is said that India is set to roll out the first indigenously developed GE engine within next three years. This is indeed a major boost for domestic manufacturing capabilities and reduces the dependency on imported technologies. Since this is the first time India is going to produce such a powerful and world-famous engine, it would be going through rigorous testing and certification process before being put into commercial production. All eyes would be on India to see how reliable and how efficiently India would be producing these engines locally since G engines application extends beyond aviation like power generation, industrial applications, marine propulsion and locomotives and many more. So that was a video to update on the details about when the first G engine which would be produced locally in India would be rolled out. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.